The population of Uganda is just over 47 million people, according to the latest United Nations data. However, there is a housing shortage estimated at over 2.4 million units. Now, a Ugandan social entrepreneur is on a mission to provide a pathway to home ownership for low-income families. Africa 54 technology correspondent Paul Ndio spoke to Anne Royora, co-founder and CEO of Smart Heavens Africa, based in Kampala, Uganda, about the housing crunch. And Rayora, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you very much. You run a social enterprise in Uganda. You are on a mission to empower millions of women to own their own homes. How did you get started? Getting started was way back when I lost my father and seeing how my mother had spent more than 50% of her income on ensuring that she pays for the home that we were staying in. That is after we lost our own home to our relatives. It was very difficult and also meeting a co-founder who also lived even a worse housing situation. He was a street vendor and putting all our problems together rather than sit back and complain. We saw there was an opportunity to help women like my mother not face the same challenge by providing an affordable, sustainable pathway towards home ownership. How many houses have you built so far? Uh, since we started, we have been able to build 80 homes at the moment and our core goal is to ensure that we establish harmonious communities in which people can ably live and have a decent life to live with their children. When you talk to some of these women that uh, you've empowered are uh, helped to own a home, uh, what are their stories? I will recap from one of the women that is in our home. Uh, she had a family with young girls growing up and living in a slum-like environment. Her children were never secure since this was an environment that had alcohol addicts, that had different situations that made her and her children uncomfortable to live in that situation. So getting us gave her a peaceful environment for her children to play and she could comfortably be at her workplace with no worries. How inexpensive or how expensive are your homes? We have a rent to own housing model that helps low-income households afford these homes without further deepening their poverty. Uh, they are able to pay a monthly payment, roughly 520,000 Uganda shillings minimum on a monthly rate for a period of five to eight years. And this monthly fee is always a contribution towards their ownership, towards the purchase of this house. But what is very unique with our homes is that you enter in the homes as soon as you start paying for it. Uh, when you complete your payment plan, we convert the titles to the household head and they become very independent. Who inspires you? I am greatly inspired by my mother and seeing the challenges that she has overcome, seeing how she turned the challenges into opportunities to educate the eight of us from my family. It was a very small task, I could say, and this greatly inspires me to always look at challenges and create opportunities. This is a very, very ambitious project. Uh, it requires uh, you to have uh, funds are readily available for you to be able to do what you do. 
how are you able to pull this off? We started with the little finances that we had, was able to attract other interested partners who align and believe in our overall mission of ending housing poverty in Africa. And also considering the revenues that we generate from the homes, from those who are already staying in the homes, keep helping us to build more and more homes. And thank you so much for your time. Thank that's remarkable. And that was Africa 54 technology correspondent Paul Deho speaking to Anne Rayora, co-founder and CEO of Kampala-based Smart Havens Africa.